The dinosaur vertebrae has arrived. Welcome to another episode of Peter Outside of Potter. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my second love. You know, my first love is Harry Potter, but if you didn't know, my second love is dinosaur fossils. And really anything kind of natural history, rocks and minerals and gems, and of course, dinosaur fossils. I love dinosaurs too, just dinosaurs in general. Now this is the second time I will be opening up this fossil. If you missed the previous video, the first time I opened it about six months ago, I think it was, yeah, I think it was January, it arrived broken, like really broken. No, is it broken? <gasps> oh! But let me just touch it. Oh, I'm so sad. So I had to send it back and have it repaired. It is finally back here, ready to be opened. It's now crated. It just arrived on a semi truck, so all should be well. So the dinosaur fossil that is right there on my porch inside of a crate is from a long neck dinosaur, a sauropod, and its scientific age is over 150 million years old. So this is where it's gonna go. This beautiful white geode was just kind of a temporary placement. I got this petrified wood pedestal, and oh, I still have the, um, the stand, the metal stand for her. the vertebrae is here. So let's pull this out. I'm gonna paint this black to make it blend in a little bit more with the stand. So it's gonna go over here. So we'll place this over here. All right, let's get ourselves a knife. I might need like a screwdriver or something, but here it is. <gasps> oh, this is very nicely secured. I'll be shocked, absolutely shocked, if this fossil is broken now. Now a sauropod, if you don't know, again, was one of those long neck dinosaurs, like Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, Camarasaurus, Diplodocus, and they were massive, huge, huge animals, long neck, long tail. The longest sauropod was over 100 feet long, like massive. So you can guess their bones are massive too. This vertebrae is from an adult sauropod. So if you didn't see the previous unboxing video, just you wait and see how big this bone is. All right, it's got one of those like star um, screw bits. I'm gonna have to try to find one. Here we go, open sesame. <gasps> I feel it. There it is. The process is intact. And then we've got the two side processes here. So I've set up a, a towel and some pillows on the inside. So I'm gonna pull this out, lay it down, and then we'll go inside and talk more about it. Ta-da, it's here in one piece. Totally different from the first time that we all met this newest addition to my collection. Look at how gigantosaurus this vertebrae is. Isn't it huge? It's massive, absolutely massive. So we can see where this was repaired. Now, when fossils are taken out of the ground, they're usually in multiple pieces and need to be repaired anyway. So you can usually see where fossils are pieced back together. This was not pulled out of the ground in one piece, so it essentially just needed to be repaired twice. And it looks like it was filled in here. That's where it broke before. You can kind of see a little hairline crack on this side. And then this up here was also repaired. Really stunning piece. Like, it's amazing to own something like this. this piece of just natural world history from an extinct animal that was so huge we can't even wrap our minds around them. Now I'll show you guys the, the fossil more in a second, but a little bit of backstory. After the fossil broke, I saw the, the guy who found the fossil and his wife is the one who preps the fossils. So he digs them and then she preps them. And when he called her to tell her the news that the fossil arrived broken, she was crushed. She called this her opus. 
Like, she did such an incredible job prepping this and an incredible job prepping it again. But that was like super heartbreaking for her. But when she saw the pictures, I think she knew like, okay, I can, I can repair this, I can fix this. And originally when they received it, they were concerned that it was gonna need a lot of restoration. And ultimately I think they said it needed a total, meaning how it was prepped before it broke, as well as the second preparation after I sent it back to them, a total of less than 10% restoration, which in the fossil world, is super low for something like this. Now the thing I love about Jurassic period bones is the color. So you get this really, really nice dark color. Where with like the Cretaceous period bones, and within the Cretaceous period, that's where a lot of famous dinosaurs live. Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, those don't have the same black or stone appearance that Jurassic bones have. So the sauropods, Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, those are all Jurassic period dinosaurs. Now this particular vertebrae, like where it would be located on the dinosaur itself or within the skeleton, this is a dorsal vertebrae. So it's the body of the dinosaur. So this is supporting the dinosaur's back. Whereas a cervical vertebrae, that would be the long neck of the dinosaur or a caudal vertebrae, that would be the tail of the dinosaur. This is a dorsal vertebrae or the main body of the dinosaur. That's one of the reasons it's so huge. And then this process right here, this is the neural process. And then the main body is called the centrum. And then the hole right here, this is where the spinal cord went through the animal. Look at how huge this hole is. Like compared to my finger, can you imagine how big this dinosaur's spinal cord had to be? Like just insane how large these animals were. So I'm thrilled to finally have this back in the house, back in the collection, all in one piece. And I think it's time to get it on its display stand. So I'm actually not quite sure where this geode's gonna go, but I'm sure we'll find a great place for it. And the sad part about removing this is it looks so good on this pedestal. <sighs> The exciting moment. Here he is. Absolutely incredible. Guys, that's like from a gigantic dinosaur. So here, this was a, a crack repair a little bit down here. Here you can see along here where there was repair made. And then this smooth section, this is also repair. But it's amazing how they kind of blend it into the natural color of the fossil itself. And then this is a little bit of a concerning crack. So I'm gonna get some paleo bond. It's something special for fossils and fill in the crack there just to give it a little bit more stability. There's a close up of that neural canal. Absolutely insane. The neural process or spine. Like, that's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Here's a comparison in size. Now I'm six feet tall. And granted, it's on a pedestal, but you kind of get an idea of just how big this thing is. Like, the centrum is probably as big as my head. It's mind-blowing. I don't know if your minds are blown, but my mind is just blown. Not only that this came from such a massive animal, but that this is in my house, and I get to be the caretaker of it. I will take good care of you, vertebrae. So as far as size and measurement, it is almost 29 inches tall. Here's a water bottle for comparison. What an exciting, exciting day. Thank you for watching, and I will feature more of this specimen, this vertebrae, this fossil. I'm going to be doing a vlog all about my entire fossil and mineral collection. I'll take you guys on a tour and show you all the different pieces that I have. And I wanna thank each and every one of you who was part of the journey of this piece. If you watched that first vlog, if you haven't watched the first vlog, it's still interesting to kind of see how it was broken and how it arrived. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. But if you did see it and you followed along on the journey and kept up with the updates about the fossil and oh, I sent it back and oh, they're working on it and all that sort of stuff, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your kind words and encouragement throughout the process because it was definitely devastating when I saw it broken. But now all of that devastation has left and I have been filled with pure excitement.
I want to thank the fossil digger and preparator who I purchased this from. For one, thanks for offering it to me. And two, thank you for being so kind and great with the whole process of having it fixed and shipped back. Thank you all for joining another episode of Peter Outside of Potter. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting or fossils or Peter Outside of Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa! Where'd he go?